If you could only install one mod to make a game like Fallout New Vegas look graphically beautiful, you would install an ENB. ESO here guys and in today's video I'll be showing you how to install an ENB for Fallout New Vegas. This is very easy to do once you know how to do it, but I'll be breaking it into easy to follow steps in this video. The footage you're seeing is Fallout New Vegas with no other graphical enhancements, we're only using an ENB. If you want my full mod list for Fallout New Vegas though, I'll link it down below in the description, it's on our website. For those of you that don't know, an ENB is a graphical enhancement that will drastically change the graphical appearance of a game, adding effects like depth of field that really brings a game into the future. You're currently seeing footage with and without the EMB enabled so you can see how much atmosphere one simple EMB can add to Fallout New Vegas. Now there are multiple EMBs to choose from, each with their own preset and feeling and on-screen effects. In this video I'll be showing you how to install Rudy ENB for Fallout New Vegas. Then I'll be doing a follow-up guide on how to completely mod Fallout New Vegas and make the game more stable. You can check out the mod list on the website linked below. So starting out you're going to click the link in the description below and it's going to take you to the ENB series page. We need to download the latest version at the bottom here. Currently that's version 0.451. So we're just going to click on that and then at the bottom of this page you can go ahead and click download. And then as you can see it's downloading. The next thing we're going to download is also linked down below in the description and it is a ENB called Rudy ENB for Fallout New Vegas. Now a lot of modders who make in-game expansions and creators and whatnot use this EMB which is why I'm using it as an example but there are tons of ENBs on the website. If you click ENB presets just here, I'll open it in a new tab for you guys, you can see there's a bunch of different EMBs here that different users have created. So just go ahead and find one that you like and you can also use the exact same tutorial on how to install pretty much 99% of these ENBs. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to be using Rudy ENB. So we're going to go down here and we're going to go to files. And you're going to want to manual download this file. Always use the up to date file and currently it's this one. So let's go ahead and manually download this. Now. If you're not using the premium version, just click on slow download and you've just got to wait a few seconds and then it will start downloading in the bottom left. Or if it doesn't start downloading, just click here. Now just to show you guys as well, the description of all these mods, it's always useful to read if you are struggling. I'll be showing you in this video anyway how to install it, but it does have a step-by-step -step installation and it explains what you need to turn off and on if you're having any issues. But now we've downloaded the two things we need, which is EMB series and the EMB that we're actually going to use. So what I suggest doing is making a new folder and just calling it EMB setup and then just uh, dragging these two into this folder just to keep everything clean and in one place. Now in order to actually open these folders, you need to get a program that can extract files. So the program I'm using is WinRAR. I've also linked this in the description and it's completely free. You just click the download WinRAR option and then press download WinRAR. And as you can see on the bottom left here, it will start downloading. And then if you just run the WinRAR installation just here, you can just say yes. I'm going to say no because obviously I've already installed it. It's, it's a program I've been using for over 12 years and multiple PCs with no issue. So it's absolutely safe to use. However, after you have downloaded that, you can then start extracting these files. So starting out, we're going to right click on ENB series and then we're going to go to extract here. And as you can see, it will start extracting all the files inside. Next, we're going to click on the wrapper version just here. And then we're going to click on D3, D9, DLL. And then we're going to hold down control and click on enbhost.exe and then enblocal.ini. These are the three that we need for this ENB. And then we're going to right click and we're going to go copy. 
Now we need to put these into our main Fallout New Vegas folder. Now if you don't know where to find that, easiest way to find it is to open Steam, find Fallout New Vegas in your Steam library, and then just right click on it, and then go to Properties. And then that'll bring up this menu. Now if you go to Local Files, you'll see you can just click here on Browse. And that's actually going to open for you the main folder where Fallout New Vegas is located. Now for me, I have it saved on an extra SSD on my computer. It's this PC, SSD, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout New Vegas. So as you can see, I've already copied these files like so. And now I'm going to go ahead and right click and paste them into the main Fallout New Vegas folder. Now, as you can see, it's going to ask me to replace all three of them because I've already installed an ENB anyway, and I'm just going to say, yes, that's fine. So the next thing we're going to do is go back to our ENB folder. And now just to save space on your computer, you can actually go ahead and delete this stuff because you don't actually need it anymore. And instead, we can right click on the Rudy ENB for Fallout New Vegas and we can go ahead and extract that. This is the part where we basically install the EMB itself. So we're going to click on this file, Rudy EMB for Fallout New Vegas. We specifically need the to Fallout New Vegas folder at the bottom here. So click on that. And then you're just going to copy all of this. So copy it like so. Then we're going to right click and paste it into the same folder we put everything else, the main Fallout New Vegas folder. Again, I've already installed this ENB, so we're gonna go ahead and replace these files like so. Now, even if you're installing it for the first time, it will ask you if you want to replace, in which case you must say yes, so you can install the ENB presets. Now, the final thing we need to do with this particular ENB is go back to the Rudy ENB file, and then we need to click on enblocal.ini. You should adapt this to your own hardware. So click on this and then we should copy and then you're going to paste it into here and replace. Now what you're going to do is right click on it and open. Now if you scroll down to memory, you'll see here video memory size is set to 4096. Now you don't have to do this, but if you want your game to perform better because Fallout New Vegas is quite old and actually utilize the amount of memory your PC is using, you're going to want to insert the amount of VRAM your computer is using. Now, the most accurate way to find your VRAM on your computer is to go here to the bottom left on the search bar and type in run. Open the run application and then you're going to want to type in DXDIAG and then press OK. And now that's gonna open a new window after a moment. And you'll see it's kind of like loading at the bottom left here. You wanna wait until it finishes loading because then it's gonna grab all your data from all your hardware on your computer. And then we'll be able to see the exact amount of VRAM we have on our computer. When it's done loading, click on display. I have two displays, so just click on your display. It's gonna be the same thing, it doesn't matter. As long as they're both plugged into your graphics card, obviously. So then if you scroll down on your display here, you'll see it actually says display memory VRAM, 1,100 megabytes. So if you just take away the last three zeros, I have 11 gigabytes of VRAM. So that's how you find out your VRAM. So what you're going to do now is you can open up the calculator and you're going to take the amount of VRAM you have and you're going to multiply it by 1024, 1024. So I'm going to times that by 11, like so. And that's going to give me 11,264. So now I'm going to go ahead and write next to the memory, video memory size in megabytes, 11,264. Now obviously Fallout New Vegas is a super old game, so I'm not going to need that amount of memory ever the game's never going to come close to using that amount of memory but if you do have like a low vram on your computer your computer's quite old you're going to want to have an accurate value there so that you're telling fallout new vegas how much vram it can actually use otherwise if you don't do this 
the game will end up crashing more often. Now in order to make it super stable there's another two mods you need to install to actually activate the extra VRAM and I'll cover those in my part two video. And then you're going to go ahead and go file, save. So close that and now we've completely installed that EMB and we just need to test if it actually works. So what you want to do when you actually start the game to make sure it works is open the Fallout New Vegas.exe launcher like so. And once that opens, you're going to want to go over here to options. And now you're going to want to make sure screen effects HDR is on. And then you're going to want to make sure that you turn off anti-aliasing just here and also anisotrophic filtering just here. These both need to be off for this to work. Then press OK and then press play. And you'll see on the top left here as the game launches that it says ENB series Fallout 3 slash New Vegas. This is how you know it's currently working. So if that appears, it's working. And if you pressed shift and enter, you can also open and edit all the ENB files yourself. However, I don't recommend you do that unless you know what you're doing. So now we're going to go ahead and press continue and we're just going to load up a saved game just to double check that it works in game. And there we go, the EMB is now working and if you walk up, hello battle brother. You guys can see if you stand and look at something really closely, the background goes blurry and then you look at the background, it goes not blurry. So you can double check that depth of field is also working. Now this is uh, Fallout New Vegas with just an ENB installed. We have absolutely no mods other than the ENB. So if you want my full mod list, it's linked below. But also, before you go, I have another part two video where we actually add some stability mods to Fallout New Vegas, which will remove stutter and lag from your game. Since it's such an old game and we're adding huge textures to it, it requires a lot more memory to function and you're going to need to do some extra stabilization before you actually really start modding it. So check out that video linked below and I'll also be doing a full playthrough of Fallout The Frontier, the latest DLC sized quest mod for Fallout New Vegas, which you can also check out linked below too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.